Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning coding data for framework tutorial. This is our part number 34. Inside this video session, guys, we will discuss about how to use CSR token in coding data for application. And also, guys, if you are looking to learn about programming articles of Cake PHP 4, coding data for MySQL and WordPress, then you need to visit this website. This is a blogging website called onlinewebtutorblog.com. Inside this, you will find several interesting topic articles. Now, if I back to browser, this is the blogging website onlinewebtutorblog.com, and inside this, we can find several interesting topics. Right now, we have four categories called MySQL, WordPress, Code Writer 4, and Cake PHP 4. Now inside this, if I scroll, then we can find all about the topic what we are discussing inside this video called Code Igniter for CSRF Token. Inside this article, we will see step by step about the guide of implementation of CSRF Token in Code Igniter for application. Also we have an article over Code Igniter for login and registration. So, there are several interesting topics inside this blogging website. Also, if we click on this Cake PHP 4 category, we can find all about that is current tutorial in Cake PHP 4, Cake PHP 4 routes, and many more. Now, let's get started about using CSIF token in Code Igniter for application. Now, if I back to editor, so before using CSIF token, we need to enable this feature inside application. By default, it will be false. So we need to make it as a true and we need to use CSRF token inside application. About the, th about the theoretical concept of CSRF in Codeigniter 4, you must read this article what we have inside this blogging website. Now we are going to implement programmatically in Code Igniter for application. Now if I back to editor, to enable this feature, the first step we need to follow, we need to go inside this .env file and inside this .env file as we know that this is environment variables file. Now if I scroll down, here as we can see that we have a key called app.csrf protection and by default it will be false so what we have to do we need to use so we need to make it as a true value save this change close this file we have successfully enabled now again press ctrl b to open our left sidebar go inside this config folder open about the file called app.php inside this app.php file the same settings what we had seen inside .env file we can also find inside this. Simply I am pressing Ctrl F to find and type CSRF. Now as we can see we have some variables. So according to our need, according to the use, we can actually change the token name, cookie name and all these settings. Now we are going to keep it all these settings as it is, here we have called CSRF regenerate equal to true, CSRF redirect equal to true. This is the name of the token. So when we use CSRF token inside any of the form in your on the request, then this C key should be used. By default, server will check all about or validate our CSRF token inside application. And one more thing, when we enable CSRF token inside application, then we need to use CSRF in each of the request. Either this request is from form submission or it will be from any Ajax request. So we need to pass CSRF token in each of the requests from application. Now the next setting, this is app.php. Now the next setting we have to do inside filters.php file. So go inside this config folder, 
inside this config folder we have a file called filters.php now this is a class and inside this class as we can see here that is we have a public globals variable this is an array inside this we have a key called before and after as we can see here we have a single line comment the comment says that always applied before every request so here we need to uncomment that because we are going to use CSRF and when we remove this comment from this line it means we are going to implement CSRF in every request so save this file close this now we are going to make a form and we will see that how can we use CSRF token inside that form so currently we are inside this site controller so let's create a method called public function simply let's say my token inside this we are going to return a view file and simply call my hyphen token now inside this I am going to copy this go to views folder we need to create this view file at the root of this views directory so my token.php inside this I will create a simple form inside this form let's create a paragraph tag and simply I'm going to make a label called input type text and the name attribute contains the name value so txt name that's it so for now we are going to use only a single input field inside this form let's create a button to submit this form button has a value equal to submit and this button has a type of submit here now next we need to add a form attributes so let's say method equal to post and action we need to use our site url function keep in mind before using this function we need to load url helper either we can load url helper inside any of the specific controller by the help of helper function or we can use base controller we had seen several times inside this course so we are not going to discuss about this site url implementation here let's say simply my token now the next step we need to define this route go to routes.php scroll down and let's say that routes we are going to use match method and this is because I want that the same route is responsible to handle get request type as well as post request type so here we have get post next we have the route called my token it is going to make use of site controller inside site controller the method name we have called my token so copy and pasting it here back to site controller now we next we need to read our request type so let's set this request let's get method inside this if suppose we are submitting our data via post request type then we need to go inside this block first of all for now to understand about our request flow with the CSIF token we have taken only a single input field with the name of name now we are going to read all input values inside this post block so this request make use of git var method so for now we are printing all the data what we are getting inside our post request all things are set here we have our form and here we have our controllers method and handling post request method now simply we need to copy this route back to browser simply type here index.php or public but these things we have removed inside previous tutorial so simply my token as we can see we have a name field and here we need to provide any value 
and click on submit button. So let's pass any value, click on submit. Now as we can see that we are not getting any value. It means as we can see inside this post request block, we are not getting any data inside this variable. Instead, let's put a static message. Hi, I am here. Also, if we save that, go here, reload this page, put any value, click on submit. As we can see that the post block has not been processed. If suppose it has been processed, then it has to print this message and this value too. But this block is not going to process. Why? Because we are using CSRF token. As we had seen that how can we enable and after enable, we have a point that in every request, we need to use CSRF token. If we don't use that token inside request, then that request should not be processed. So how to use? Back to our file and as we know that from this view file, from this form, we are going to process a request. So we need to use the token here. So how can we use? We need to make a input type hidden field. So input type hidden. Here we have a value and the name attribute. After enabling CSRF token, we have two functions available. One is for the token name and the second the token has value. So for the value, we need to use called CSRF and here we have hash here. This function automatically returns the hashed value. Now we need to get the token name. If we press Ctrl B, either we can go inside app.php or .env file. Here as we can see that CSRF task name, this is the token name. Here it is comment, but when we go inside app.php, it is working. So we can do our variable setting either from .env file or any of the file from this config folder. Close this file. Now we need to go get our token name. So simply we have the other functions available called CSRF and here we have the token function. Once we write this line, if we go inside this code, inspect that. And here as we can see that we have an input type hidden field value. This is a hashed value. And here we have the token name. Now when we submit this value from this box, click on submit. Now as we can see that our process means our request has been successfully processed. It means for every request, we need to pass CSRF token value. After getting data inside this controller, after getting data, now we can work with the models or any of the logical concept. If we want to save this data to our database table, now we can proceed with the further functionality. So inside this video, we had seen that how can we enable the feature, how can we use and how can we process our request. That's it. In the next video, we will see that if we want to process our request without CSRF token, so how can we process? It means as we can see that here we need to pass the CSRF token to process this request. But in some cases, we have few requests in which we don't want to pass that. But the feature has enabled inside application. So how can we make use of the form request without CSRF? We will see in the next video. And also for the theoretical point of concept of CSRF, you can go inside this article and learn all about its theoretical concept. If we click on that link, here is the single article content. Scroll down, we can see that and also 
The CSRF token is the functionality of security class in CodeIgniter 4. So this is all about downloading setup. Next we have what is security class, what is CSRF, what is CSRF attack and many more. This is step by step also enabling features. So inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment. I will keep my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.